to Hatchapi High School's football team takes the field, the varsity cheerleaders prepare to pump up the crowd, hoping for a warrior win. What kind of stuff do you say to the football players? Mm -hmm. Heads yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Go, fight, win. Is that your favorite cheer? Yes! <laughs> 18-year-old Kaylee Cornell is all smiles on the sideline, but keeping her energy up through an entire football game is a small task compared to the challenges she faces every day. She was diagnosed at three with cerebral palsy, and then from that point on we had several other diagnoses that went all the way from agenesis of the corpus callosum to autism um, to crater willing. Although Kaylee is considered a senior in high school, she thinks and often behaves like a five-year-old. As Kaylee's mom, Heather Richter, struggled to find a way to help Kaylee overcome a certain behavior at home, she looked to her friend, Vicki Worrell, a cheer coach at Tehachapi High School. And so I called Vicki and asked her if there was something that maybe Kaylee could do with the cheerleading squad, perhaps just um, hand out bottled water or give the cheerleaders their pom-poms. And I told her, we don't have a water girl. Our girls all bring their own bottles of water. And um, so I told her, let me talk to the other coach and we'll see what we can do. So with the district's approval, Worrell gave Kaylee a bow, a pair of palms, and a spot on the sideline with the team, giving the teen even more to smile about. I could just see in her how proud she was of herself. Um, the couple of the football players, a few of the football players would go over there and fist pump her on the sidelines, and, and she just was proud, you know, and it made me happy for her to be happy. <laughs> The team welcomed Kaylee with open arms, her spirit bringing a dynamic unlike any other to the group. She's so much fun and she's such a pleasure to be around. She just has a great attitude about everything and always has a smile on her face. For Kaylee's parents, seeing their daughter shine under the Friday night lights brings incredible joy. And thanks to the team that accepted her, this warrior has something to fight for every week. Going. Bob, we are not encouraging this. I'm not encouraging. I'm asking how fast. Honey! Oh, right. First, they got to pay the table. <laughs> now they made the, the car. You don't. Yes. The car? What happened to the car? <laughs> oh, here. I'm getting a new plate. So, how about you, Vi? How about school? Nothing to report. You've hardly touched your food. I'm really not hungry for meatloaf. Well, it is leftover night. We have steak, pasta. What are you hungry for? Tony Rodden here. Shut up! Yeah, you are! I said, shut up, you little insect! Well, too, she is! Do not shout at the table, honey! Kids, listen to your mother! <laughs> oh, well, then, when she said, we have Tony Rodden here. That's it! <laughs> Stop <laughs> it! You put force me on you, right? Force me on me, go. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be toast. Stop running in the house. Let's see the first field. Yeah, go. <laughs> Ow! Hey, no force fields. You started it. You sit down. You sit down. Violet. Oh, ow. Simon ow. J. Palladino, longtime advocate of superhero rights, is missing. <laughs> Bob, it's time to engage. Do something. Don't just stand there. I need you to intervene. Intervene? You know, you want me to intervene? Okay, I'm intervening. I'm intervening. Violet, let go of your brother. And I'm frozen. <laughs> just, what does frozen say? <laughs> Big jump. Hey, hey, hey Violet. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Ha! Never heard that one before. <laughs> Whoa! Haha. <laughs> ha. I said that! <laughs> oh, I like it when it shatters. Well, I'll get you back later. Hey, where are you?